write as a single logarithmic function. Before I start solving this question, I will briefly review the properties of log. The most important property is log of a times b is equal to log a plus log b for positive values of a and b. We note that log of a plus b cannot be simplified. This is one of the common mistakes that uh, one often sees in students' work. The other property, which is very important, and actually it is derived from the, f the previous property, is log a divided by b is equal to log a minus log b. Once again, log a minus b cannot be simplified. The next property, which is once again driven from the original property of logs, is log of a to the power of n is equal to n log a for any value of n. In these properties, I did not write the base of log. I am assuming that the base of log could be any number, which is of course possible. It has to be a positive number. But in general, if we do not write the base of log, and if we write log x, we mean log base 10 of x. And if we, re we write ln x, we mean log base e of x. It is important to note that log x is not equal to log base e of x, as it used to be in the very past the case. It's been for some years that people use ln x when the base is e, and they use log x without writing any base when the base is 10. This is another major source of confusion. Now let's get to the questions. Question A. We would like to write minus log of a over x minus one third log of yz over x plus two log of y over z squared as one log. We pay attention that there are three terms in this expression and each one of them has a log in, in it. To write this expression as an expression which has one log only, we should first convert all the coefficients into one. The coefficient of the first term is minus one. I can convert the coefficient into one by writing the first term as log of a over x to the power of minus 1. To see why this is correct, we can go backwards. You can see that based on the properties I explained, log of a to the power of n is n log a, which means you can bring the minus 1 down in front of log and get the original term back. Now we need to deal with minus 1 third. We can move this up as the power of yz over x and we would have plus 1 times log yz over x to the power of minus 1 third. And next we need to consider the coefficient of 2. We can move this up as the power of y over z squared and we would get log of y over z squared to the power of 2. Now we have three terms, 
all logs with coefficient 1 and we would like to add them based on the original property of logs the log of the product is the sum of the logs and conversely you can say the sum of the logs is log of the product of a over x to the power of minus 1 y z over x to the power of minus one third and y over z squared to the power of 2. This expression involves only one log. Now let's look at case B. We have 2 log x over 3 plus 3 log y over 2. We can rewrite this expression as 2 over 3 log x plus 3 over 2 log y. Once again, we can move 2 thirds up as the power of x to get log of x to the power of 2 thirds plus then we can move 3 halves up as the power of y to get log of y to the power of 3 halves and sum of the logs considering that the bases are the same would be the log of products.